all right welcome back to a new one now this one is about reference now reference is pretty cool feature in uh, gitlab again and this is pretty similar to optimizing your pipeline i've used reference in my multiple projects and i wanted to show you that how you could use reference in your project as well what i've done is i've again converted uh, my code into a more reusable more modularized using uh, reference you could either use include which i uh, used in my previous video i'm going to post in the link uh, in the in the comments um, but you could use reference to optimize your pipeline so it's it's up to you whether you want to use include or you want to use reference the reference is really handy when it comes to optimizing your pipeline making your pipeline smaller making it more readable making it more customizable making it more usable by a new member so one of the problem is if you make your pipeline really big it's going to be difficult for you also to uh, read it to optimize it and if somebody new joins into your team they won't have any clue what's happening inside your pipeline so re reference is really important i've uh, showcased a small little example but i've picked up it from my actual experience and my actual project so this example is pretty handy this is not a made up example this is one of the problem which i was facing while working on gitlab and i thought this would be super cool if i show it to other users as well it's going to be super helpful i hope this is going to be super helpful for you i'll see you in the demo thank you all right welcome to a brand new one where in the last one we used the shell script and we did bunch of optimization using the include functionality in GitLab as well. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can leverage another functionality called as reference in your pipeline to optimize it and make sure that you reuse the same code again and again by the use of reference. Now, why do you use reference? Reference to make sure that to keep your code dry. There are certain things in your pipeline which you want to reuse again and again. Let's suppose, uh, what did we do? We applied the in, in the pipeline, we build the image and then we applied the ECR via Terraform, right? I want to write another pipeline for Destroy. Let's suppose you want to use this one going to remain same whatever you do for any of the infrastructure. The plan until the plan and apply, it's going to remain same. The Terraform codes going to be keep on changing. So what I want to do is I want to create another stage which destroys your infrastructure but leveraging reference how do you do that first thing is def uh, define the destroy stage which is destroy ecr all right and then what we're gonna do is we are gonna start defining the destroy over here destroy ecr perfect and then everything gonna remain same but before that we are gonna create the reference structure how do you do it beneath the ci cd i'm going to create a directory called reference perfect that's called as reference and inside the reference i'm going to create a new file called as gitlab common script so whatever is common in your pipeline you could just keep it over here and reuse it again and again how do you do that let's just learn it so first is defining a name so i am gonna say common underscore terraform script right and then i'm gonna say script right script what is the script i'm gonna include everything which is common what is that I'm going to open the Terraform script on the right and just going to copy everything from here until the destroy. So what it is, it is using right from here. All right, and copy until the bottom. In this case, I'm just going to copy this and just put it over here. Okay. CD perfectly fine. And then we the next step gonna be apt update perfect and then we're gonna do the pip install just gonna do the pip install command right remove the set option from here set the terraform version which is this one right S curl command if you're really wanna make it really clean 
I'm gonna make sure that everything is uncommented what we don't need and then remove option so what we're doing is we're defining all the steps again and again and then the configure step which is just gonna be pulling from here and putting it right underneath the remove command all right so now your authentication is done and now the part of terraform inet so just gonna put it beneath the export commands and then the validate all right then the validate and then instead of apply we gonna do the destroy because apply we have already done in the previous step so we're gonna say destroy it for us so it's gonna be terraform destroy auto approve let's let's all remain rest all remain same I'm just gonna move this CD command before the terraform mine it so that everything is kind of in the place okay now how do you use it so let's come back to our GitLab YAML wherein we're gonna start using it how do you use it you start defining the similar structure define the stage which is let's suppose destroy underscore ECR you destroy the image which is Ubuntu latest and then comes the fun part script and then you say exclamation reference okay reference make sure there is no typo and underneath the square braces what do you want to reference you want to reference this guy over here common terraform script okay which we have just written common terraform script looks like there is a bit of typo so I'm just gonna make sure that is right okay so I'm just gonna copy this one and then separate comma separated and then I'm gonna put in uh, the script value which is right from here we have defined the script over here right underneath it pick up it's gonna pick up all the commands which we have mentioned over here so comma script that's pretty much all and then we are gonna define terraform destroy we have already defined I would if you want you can put the main command right over here which is instead of defining the terraform destroy over here you can just pick it up from there and put it right over here so you say run the main command over here and rest keep everything common remain same all right all you need to do is let's suppose you're not running for ECR you're running for EKS or let's suppose you are running it for lambda or any other function or any other infrastructure you just need to define the directory which we're gonna define right over here so how do you define it you know by now you should be aware of it how do you do define it variables and you say directory directory which is AWS hyphen infra ECR which is AWS hyphen infra ECR then you define the region which is AWS region east US and I want to run only for master branch only for master branch perfect uh, the last part is the include now you go to include the YAML as well so that it can refer to it so I'm gonna say hyphen local all right and ci cd reference and then the name of the file which is this one so ci cd reference and then gitlab underscore script dot yaml perfect we're ready to push it now let's just go into our commit section let's commit everything commit and push and we are ready to go let's push it all right once you have pushed let's go back to our gitlab yaml and we should have a new pipeline triggered with the new stage which is the destroy ecr so all right we have got the pipeline now running as you can see that we have got the build we've got the push we've got the deploy ecr and then destroy ecr in the destroy ecr we're gonna have the destruction of our infrastructure so this was it uh, this is how you could leverage reference and in the underneath the reference this is really an important feature you can now reuse this particular script again and again just by defining into your GitLab. Uh, stage and using the reference keyword. Alright, I hope this was informative. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.